Hello, this is Chris Frostad, President and CEO of Purepoint Uranium, and we're excited today to present our Turner Lake project located in northern Saskatchewan's Athabasca Basin. As we watch uranium demand come back into balance, we are actively advancing our 100% owned portfolio of exploration projects here in Canada. All of our projects are located in the world's richest uranium bearing region, the Athabasca Basin, host to 100% of Canada's uranium production and the highest uranium grades found anywhere. Our 12 projects seen here in orange are strategically located across the province and are all located on trend and adjacent to world-class tier one mines. Most of our projects are now ready for drilling. Turner Lake is situated on the Eastern side of the basin along the mine trend that lies in the transition between the Wollaston and Mujadic geological domains. The project straddles the Kelsey Dome, a pinwheel shaped magnetic high considered to be a granitic intrusion. As can be seen here, the graphitic conductors that represent the primary targets in uranium exploration wrap in a circular fashion around the dome. Our neighboring explorers include Orano Canada, Cameco Corp, ISO Energy, and Denison Mines. Most of the regional work was focused on the La Roque Corridor, which runs along the western edge of the Kelsey Dome. The corridor begins in the southwest with Orano's alligator showing at 3.8% U308 over 10 and a half meters. Next along the corridor is Cameco's La Roque showing at 33.9% over five and a half meters. Further north, we see ISO Energy's recently discovered hurricane zone presenting 33.9% U308 over eight and a half meters. The corridor then proceeds untested across the northern portion of the Turner Lake property. In addition to the Lorac corridor, numerous uranium findings exist around the remainder of the dome, many yet to be properly followed up on. Within the Turner Lake project, we've defined four distinct target areas. First in the north is the Sarin conductor, which represents the continuing extension of the Lorac corridor. Further south is the Laysen zone, which presents as a splitting of the conductors from the Lorac corridor. Next is the Turaco zone. Here we see a major structural shift in the geology, resulting in the area's conductors lying perpendicular to the Laysen conductors. Finally is the Turner Lake zone, a long conductor beneath the lake that appears to be structurally related to Orano's discovery just south of the claim line. Let's take a closer look, starting with the Sarin zone. The graphitic conductor continues the Lorac corridor through the northern section of the Turner Lake project. Of significant note here are the results of a seismic survey performed here by SMDC back in 1985. The survey line cuts across the southern portion of the Sarin grid. Here is a cross section of that survey line. What we see is an interpreted 150 meter thrust fault in the basement rock. That thrust fault occurs at the Sarin conductor. Thrust faults are a significant setting for a number of major deposits in the Athabasca Basin. For example, Key Lake and MacArthur River seen here below. This is a priority target on this project. Next is the Laysen zone, made up of a cluster of four primary graphitic conductors following the eastern edge of the Kelsey Dome. Among these conductors is historic diamond drill hole OD1. It returned 3.4 meters at a grade of 0.06% U308. As is evident, there are several targets requiring follow-up drilling. Just to the south of Laysen is the Turaco zone, an area of numerous graphitic conductors sitting perpendicular to Laysen. This is the zone that has received the most attention by Purepoint to date. Most of the first pass drilling focused on the center area of the Turaco zone. As can be seen in the table below, much of that drilling identified elevated uranium mineralization at the unconformity throughout the area. What was found through subsequent geophysics was that the center area represents a gravity high. Experience has shown that the most prospective areas for uranium deposition lie outside of gravity highs. As a result, our highest priorities are the two outer conductors, which remain largely untested. One hole on the eastern conductor is Azamer's diamond drill hole Q2, which returned 0.3 meters of U308 at 0.1%. Finally is the Turner Lake Zone. 
This conductor lies beneath Turner Lake and is on trend with Arano's diamond drill hole HLH50 to the south, which returned 2.7% U308 over 1.2 meters. There are five holes along the trend that were originally drilled by Arano. Very positive indicators were identified. However, subsequent geophysical surveys by Pierpoint demonstrated that the best targets remain untested along the conductor. We're now in the process of applying for permits to drill at Turner Lake and look forward to our next stage of exploration there.